Mike's Daily Podcast. The last place on earth somewhere in Podcastro Valley 10. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's a pleasure to be with you at this podcast place called Mike's Daily Podcast Cafe. Anyway, hey, it's out of the world at its end. It's in space. It's really great. Tell your friends about it so that I don't have to be the only one listening to the show. It puts a smile on my face. Mike's Daily Podcast. Not that I listen to my own podcast. That would be just... Oh! Well, it's FF episode... Mike's 2000... Daily... 577... Podcast... 2577. Yeah! I am happy to be here today. I had a little bit of a scare. Not a health scare. Not a personal scare of any sort with uh, anybody that I know of, but some work scare that suddenly happened. And it turned out it was because in the Bay Area, for some bizarre reason today, and the, and the hillsides are so beautifully green right now. Here we are the day after St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day weekend, some people are calling it, and it is so green, it feels like Ireland. It's a beautiful day. and. To get into the Irish mood and the fact that it is spring, I do wash myself with a particular soap that has two words that I just mentioned in previous sentences. And I I smell pretty good because it's two deodorants that are in there. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but at cafe anyway, it's good when you smell good. Because you smell good And we all feel much better When we smell better What am I saying? The point is This is Mike's Daily Podcast Where we have lots of points And lots of interesting things that we cover And we also have Something called the podcast picture Here's today's podcast picture Which you can see Like every single podcast that I've done All 2,577 of them Each one has a podcast picture And today's particular picture I took Today And there's a little surprise somewhere in the picture You can see Rocky the cat But it's beautiful green And blossoms and Podcastro Valley And so nice And the late great Basil the Boxer He used to enjoy Walks In Podcastro Valley In the green You know what though After the rains Like we've had a lot of rains We're gonna have some more tonight And I would walk the trails with Basil And I would slip And go sliding down And I'd hate that But what I found was If I watched where he walked I could generally I'd let him you know lead And somehow dogs knew implicitly Which places to put their feet Their paws and so I try and mimic that And it helped out a lot I'm full of I'm dispensing all kinds of fantastic Helpful knowledge today uh, Someone I know In the radio world Named Masa He said to me Mike You are a wealth of knowledge And you are so helpful Because I told him If you have Comcast Like most of us do here in the Bay Area You either have Comcast or AT&T There might be some others But Those are the main two If you want to watch TV Or get your internet And If there is an internet provider In the Bay Area That would like to advertise On my podcast Feel free There's a little space right here You could have put it But you didn't contact me today So It didn't happen I'm going to get arrested on Tuesday What? Huh? No What? I was channeling Seth Meyers Channeling Trump there But that Anywho The point is That with you With the Comcast Apparently And this isn't a plug for Comcast Because I'm going to give them a slug In a moment First though The plug is They do have this thing called Flex It's a Flex box And it does allow you to uh, Access YouTube And a bunch of other apps You can listen to this podcast Through Flex I should say There's a thing called MyTuner MyTuner.com I think it is And there's uh, Odyssey TuneIn iHeart Radio They're all places Where you can listen to Mike's Daily Podcast But you can listen to the podcast Through this Comcast device And also watch 
Peacock for free Which is the NBC streaming service They make you watch commercials YouTube makes you watch commercials Unless you pay more for the streaming The up end you, The upper end YouTube TV And my lovely lady friend We watch Netflix and Amazon Prime Through her account In all of this world of Oh my gosh, chat GBT Microsoft is amazing Oh look how amazing Google is and Apple is With all of this stuff It's it's important to remember that Before all this AI stuff really Went crazy this year There was Alexa And you can listen to This podcast on Alexa Just say Alexa Open Mike's Daily Podcast And you can listen that way too But the, the yeah that Amazon technology wow now in the world of searching people don't really search they don't open up a search engine when they're on the computer that's like uh, a, when you click on Amazon of course you get the buying stuff the website the marketplace and oh I think I'll buy some more of that dandy tea what's it called dandy blend it tastes just like coffee well, kinda It tastes like instant coffee But it's not coffee It's made out of dandelion seeds And chicory What trickery? But yes, it's fantastic And that's what I've been drinking At home with my lovely lady friend We stopped doing the full-on caffeine Caffeine thing The wacky caffeine The caffeine thing Well, I have some when I come to work But what I was saying Was that we have in this world of oh, so Masa was so happy with the with the world which I exposed him to, of being able to go onto this flex thing, and he said, "Mike, you're a font of knowledge," and I said, "Thank you," and I'm very fond of you as well. But the point is that the video for that Elton John Britney Spears song, which hey Elton John, you're amazing. I've got a couple of your albums. Reach out for the healing hands Very underrated song Beautiful song Beautiful Beautiful song Beautiful people Fake news Seth Meyers doing Trump again But Gonna be arrested to, arrested on Tuesday But the thing is Elton John At one time put out new material As we go outside a cafe anyway Where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcast Grove Valleyton The last place on earth Cafe anyway and he used to he used to put out new music, and then he realized people were not buying it anymore. He did a great album with was it wasn't Doctor John was it Leon Russell? They did a great album together. Nobody bought it. Still with all this talent, he put out a song with the the movie, a new song. With the movie that was about him Where he's singing With the guy who portrayed him Rocket Man In that movie But it was a new song It didn't do anything So then He meets Dua Lipa And she's huge And they do that song together Which includes pieces of other songs he did It had Rocket Man in it It had a little bit of I'm gonna kiss the bride and uh, a little bit of uh, Sacrifice That's right Cold Cold Heart was the name of the song And it also had The The thing Oh that 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 reference is a deep album cut Of Elton John The Perumpa Or The Woompa Something or rather <laughs> It's in the song I've heard it a million times But it's hard for me to access it in my brain right now Because all I'm thinking of is the Hold Me Closer song Which he redid the formula again And this time he's with Britney Spears And a lot of people are like Oh Britney She was victimized Her parents treated her terribly Her father was horrible Her ex-husband was horrible All the, the, the media Paparazzi and everything Britney Spears She's the underdog She needs a little love A, a little 
help in this world and she uh, was able to get out of that whole legal mess that she was in where she had to be dependent on the parents and now she's independent again free Britney and all that so Elton John reaches out to her they do a song where they did the same exact thing like they did with Dua Lipa where they picked little pieces of already existing Elton John songs this time they took a little bit of Tiny Dancer so it's Hold Me Closer Tiny Dancer and they took a little bit of one of my favorite songs from Elton John from the other big album that I have that came out a couple years after the one that has Healing Hands it uh, had on it a song called the the one all I ever needed was the one like freedom feels when wild horses run like you and I the worlds collide like you and I no shadows cross the sun whoa all I ever needed ooh baby you're the one and so there's a little bit of that song in it which I heard instantly I was I was blown away I was like thank you You've added a disco beat Like you did with the Dua Lipa thing A little pre-programmed Dance track drum machine thing And that with the Dua Lipa was a huge hit Got Elton John another number one Now he's broken all these records He's had a number one in every decade Since like 1970 something It's since the 70s so he and Britney Spears have this big song called Hold Me Closer. So I I go to see what the video is for Hold Me Closer. Now, the video for the wonderful Cole Cole Heart was pretty interesting. It was animation. And you saw an animated Dua Lipa and animated Elton John. And it was cute. Okay, thank you. But the one for Hold Me Closer is a bunch of dancers doing this strange modern dance that kind of looks like fighting, like martial arts. And they're wearing flowing, interesting outfits in different exotic locales. But I'm, I'm like, that's it? You don't show me a little bit of Elton or a little bit of Britney? There's nothing in there. I was very let down. I cried. I felt so sad. But... Eventually, I got over it. I am going to look up Terry Gross and Fresh Air, and I think it was her most recent show. I'm doing this on the fly, so please forgive me if this doesn't work out. Please, Brian Adams, forgive me. Yes. So, she interviewed drag queen Bella... Bella Dubal And in the beginning of the interview And they don't let you scroll on this Oh Well Oh Oh you do Oh it's all the the way over here Okay There we go To effect April 1st My guest Tennessee anti-drag Who's the show director and Law at the largest drag club in Memphis, the Atomic Rose. She's also the creator of the club's drag competition. Bella is sounding the alarm about how this law could result in shutting down drag clubs and imprisoning many drag queens. The law pertains to, quote, male or female impersonators who provide entertainment that appeals to a performance on public property. And violations would be felony. All right, Sona, okay, we can, mis- we'll read about that online. Thank you so much, Terry. I got you, she, her. Oh, okay, wait. Bella DeBall, welcome to Fresh Air. Thank you so much for having me. It's really a pleasure. Okay, listen to this next question. And you hear this a lot in today's world, as you well know. Okay, here we go having me it's really a pleasure i just want to get straight and have the audience understand what pronouns you prefer sure out of drag i use they them but in drag i use she her so if terry gross asked me mike what pronouns do you prefer and then i told masa my answer <laughs> the guy i was talking about earlier and is it mike what's your pronouns and i'd be like he 
hop. It's Roy Clark and Buck Owens with Hee Haw. Hee Haw. It made Masa laugh because he loves references to old TV shows. Maybe you didn't laugh. But here's the thing. There was a show called Hee Haw and it is very corny. And that was what they were going for. So if you want the absolute pinnacle of corniness, watch Hee Haw, which now have become pronouns. So there you go. Read more about that crazy situation in Tennessee online somewhere. Because here's what I found online somewhere that Gwyneth Paltrow, she has had enough of what people are saying about, you know, all her crazy health stuff. She responds to the backlash over the viral wellness routine she, and her diet. She says, I eat full meals. The 50-year-old, yes, she's 50 now, took to her Instagram story to address how she felt about the criticism during a Q&A session after her episode on Dr. Will Cole's The Art of Being Well podcast where she opened up about her intermittent fast routine. In the backlash to the podcast on TikTok... Because, oh, hey, here's the thing, everybody. Backlash on TikTok is not going to be a sentence heard much longer. TikTok is going away. Oh, Mike, how can that be? It's downloaded on my phone. I can listen to it. It's, it's, uh, I can watch it, rather, anywhere I go. It exists. Well, what's potentially going to happen, and this is something I looked up and read, Is that they are going to stop doing updates to the app. It will be banned. And the updates will stop. And so you will have a grandfathered in app on your phone. It may still work. But you're also going to open yourself up to viruses. Which you've probably already done by downloading TikTok. And at some point, possibly... The government would ban it on the internet And have internet providers ban the whatever the URL connection to to TikTok It has been done before It can be done with TikTok So this whole thing of people being influencers on TikTok And making all their money That's going to go away So young people And I, I was talking with Masa about this today About how many people I've never heard of this, but you, all these YouTube influencers, like every other week or every other month, it just seems quite frequent. I am hearing about a YouTube influencer, some young person who has died. Some commit suicide, some get in an accident, some get murdered. It is all kinds of weird situations that come with being a YouTube influencer. And Masa said, well, It's not like when you were a celebrity and you were on television and you were a presenter or a host or what have you. You had a season. You had a certain amount of time that you worked on the show and then you had hiatus. Well, that doesn't happen. There is no hiatus for a YouTube influencer. They go and they go and they're the Duracell bunny. They keep on going. There are some travel vloggers whom I used to enjoy And I would enjoy them because every day I would go to my YouTube to watch something. They'd have a new thing. Oh, look, they were in Vegas. Oh, look, they were in Florida. Oh, look, they were at Disneyland. Wow. They were, they just keep traveling, keep traveling, keep traveling. But they were really, that was their whole thing. These people, they, they run on this fear of becoming irrelevant. And if they stop uploading videos, well, we'll stop watching them. They won't have the thousands and thousands and thousands of downloads and views and they just disappear into obscurity. And I remember one guy that I watched all the time, he went into panic mode and he uploaded a video saying, hey, YouTube has demonetized my channel and this is what I, this is what I live on and I'm freaking out right now. And he eventually it worked out, but that is such a fickle business model. To be able, you can't live on that. Plus, these travel vloggers, this is what I get into. They 
cannot hold their cameras steady for the life of me not hold it steady. They can't. They don't know how. I don't know. And they don't have Parkinson's. Not to put down. Parkinson's is a very real disease that a lot of my friends have. Or friends' parents have had or have. And it's, it's terrible. It's horrible, horrible disease. But they just, they don't. I mean, there's all these things they can use to keep a camera steady. And they don't know how to do it. They don't. They And I, you're watching YouTube videos on big screen TVs because you can through that flex device I was talking about. Oh, the slug for Comcast. Dang. They boost their rates out of nowhere. And I told you in a previous podcast the way to I go into more detail in a previous podcast. But just to sum it up real quick, if you want to get uh, to um, bring your costs down, how much you're, you're paying per month, you all you need to do, you don't even have to call them. You just go on the chat bot and you say, I want a cheaper plan. And they look it up for you and they set you up. And it takes like two paying cycles. And th- this is the, the slug is all of a sudden I did that. And now I'm paying. First, I was paying more for about two or three times through two or three pay periods. And now it's gone down to less than what I was paying for for a whole couple years previously. So I don't know if that's me being mad at them or mad at myself for not. The, the thing is with cable bills and phone bills, you need to check into better plans constantly if you just think you'll be grandfathered in with a good plan that's not true they they find ways to boost the cost of what you're paying so Gwyneth Paltrow she said on her Instagram story and kudos to her for not being on TikTok well, maybe she is but this wasn't on TikTok she began by making an important note about the podcast and what she was doing with it as Cole is her own doctor she also shared more details about her physical health she said this is a person I've been working with for over two years now to deal with some chronic stuff as she noted uh, she'd been experiencing post-COVID symptoms the way it manifests for me is very high levels of inflammation over time so I've been working with Dr. Cole to really focus on foods that aren't inflammatory she explained that she's been eating a lot of cooked vegetables all kinds of protein healthy carbs all this to lower inflammation and she emphasized that this routine is based on her own medical results and extensive testing that she's done over time so it wasn't a diet that she was recommended to that, that she was It was for her And she wasn't recommending it to other people This was a transparent conversation with me and my doctor It's not meant to be advice for anyone else It really works for me And it's been very powerful and very positive And she further clarified That habits that she mentioned on the podcast Is not the way she eats every day And by the way she says I eat far more than bone broth and vegetables And this is something that she was talking about on the podcast. I eat full meals and I also have a lot of days of eating whatever I want and eating, you know, French fries and whatever. She founded the thing called The Goop. (laughs) Do you remember that? The Goop. And she acknowledged the goal of her eating routine saying, my baseline really has been to try to eat healthy and eat foods that will really calm the inflammation down. Yes, inflammation. The National Institute of Health says prolonged inflammation has been linked to symptoms of long COVID. The organization found that inflammation around the brain could have an effect on someone losing their sense of smell for a while due to COVID. My lovely lady friend said that happened to her when we were in the midst of having COVID at the end of the year around Christmas. This all from The Independent via... MSN.com And then Are you hugging enough Do you know who wants to know Well It could be me It could also be The uh, President of Mexico (laughs) Yes US families were to blame For the fentanyl overdose crisis Because they don't hug their kids enough Said Mexico's president yesterday President Andre Manuel Lopez Obrador's remarks cap a week of provocative statements from him about the crisis caused by the fentanyl, a synthetic opioid that is trafficked by Mexican cartels. 
that has been blamed for over 70,000 overdose deaths per year in the U.S. is just been a huge um, talking point on Capitol Hill. Lopez Oprador said family values have broken down in the United States because parents don't let their children live at home long enough. And he also denied that Mexico produces fentanyl. He also told a morning news briefing that the problem was caused by a lack of hugs and of embrace. Uh, Mexican army personnel at a... Oh, the... There is a lot of disintegration of families. There's a lot of individualism. There's a lack of love and brotherhood of hugs and embraces. That is why the U.S. officials should be dedicating funds to address the causes. Now, he has repeatedly said that Mexico's close-knit family values are what saved it from the wave of the fentanyl overdose. That's hugs, not drugs. And, and I guess keeping your kids at home longer. Which, that's already happening, Presidente. And, oh, this picture here is Mexican Army personnel at a seized fentanyl pill manufacturing center in Colacan, Mexico. Ah. So there's a little bit of that information for you. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to get to a very fun segment after all this serious talk. But first, let's say hi to some people outside a cafe anyway, right now. Hi, Mark. It's Benito the Rodeo Queen. How are y'all doing? I got my horse nearly. That's a disgruntled field player tell you what. What? That's all fascinating stuff, but fentanyl is the worst stuff on the planet. And all those people down in Mexico are responsible. And I don't like it, so build a wall. Okay. You know, Gary Shandling pointed out something. There's a wall, you know, you can build a wall, but then there's this invention called a ladder. I don't get it. Well, it's a thing. The ladder is what gets you over it. The ladder, not the former. No, the ladder. Not the former. Look who else is here. Oh, my, can I make the least root beer have some right there? Oh, are you ready for the rain? The rain, oh yes. Thanks for reminding me. Yet another wonderful atmospheric river. This will be 13. Ah. But the last one wasn't so bad, so I don't know. Then the one before that was worse. Well, hopefully this won't be as bad. Let me try this root beer. Mmm. Oh my gosh, That's del- that is the best root beer you have ever made. And it's green because it's St. Patrick's Day weekend. Yeah, I made it right now. It's delicious and it's green. Don't ask me what's they're making the green color. I hope you like it. Oh, boy, I think right now I'll cut you. Wow. That was very scary what you just said, but thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here because now we're going to bring you a segment that I enjoy doing. On this podcast And that is the Mike Matthews New Tunes Feud I'm going to tell you what I need from you though I need you to do something That you don't ever do And you're going to do it right now You're going to pick up the phone I love it when people say Pick up the phone Uh, Grandpa It ain't like the 1920s When we used to pick up the phone Hello Operator, can you put me through the connection BR549, please? No. It is not like that. And yes, I just slammed a phone down on one of the trees. Why is there a phone on a tree? It's for backup. But yes, the fact is we don't pick up the phone. We pull the phone out of our pocket or a purse. Some of us don't even pull it out anywhere because it's just attached to our hands. And we walk around with these big clunky things. No, seriously. There was a time when phones, when cell phones were small. And we thought they were just going to get smaller and smaller. No, they've gotten bigger. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jobs, for keeping the phone a nice big size. Well, we have to in order to read the screen. But So grab your phone out of your pocket and call 510-228-4640. 
That's 510-228-4640 And tell me which song you like best Now, I've been getting a bunch of emails from musicians And I would like to play you some of the stuff they've been sending me Is that okay? We good with that? We good? All right, good, because I'm doing it anyway. All right, the first is from someone named Zora. Yes, Zora. Industrial goth pop LP Murder in the Temple out. Zora, the industrial pop solo project of New York artist Zora Atash. Today released her debut solo album Murder in the Temple And it is both a continuation and departure from her past She is the fourth daughter from a family of Afghan refugees She grew up surrounded by her father and family friends Playing Afghan folk and pop In the living room till dawn And she woke up to her older sisters dancing in their bedroom To... Peter Gabriel, New Order, and the Mary Jane Girls. So with that background, let's play a song from her called Murder in the Temple. I guess this is the title track. Wow. I can only play that much or I'll get dinged by YouTube. That's Zora. Okay, next is... Someone who's been on the podcast Actually stayed at my house one time Oh he didn't stay at the house But he visited my house one time Daniel G. Harmon and Sam Miller Alright this is a song called Seriously Dark Clouds Let's listen to a little bit Of their little collaboration here I just say that was very soothing and Daniel G. Harmon just one of the nicest guys one of the funniest guys you can listen to an interview I did with him go to my website mikesdailypodcast.com and in the upper left hand corner if you're on a desktop or a tablet there's a little thing that says home if you put your cursor or if you touch it with your finger a little pop up will say interviews And you want to go interviews A through F And you'll be able to hear the interview I did with him It was fun time Okay, very soothing Thank you, thank you, Daniel And now Another song Here from Orion Belt Is this just a Oh Orion Belt Sun-kissed Norwegian psych funk trio Orion's Belt Is going to South by Southwest They're going to be playing at the Aquarium Drunkard Showcase at the International Day Stage. North American Tour will have them in San Francisco, LA, Seattle, and other cities. This is a song they have called Silhouettes, and they are from Norway. Steel guitar comes out of nowhere Amazing Okay That was song number three Song number four Is A band By Is it uh, Watercolors What? Water It says This song is about love Watercolors are impossible to control when you're painting They never stay where you want them to Sometimes when they're still wet The picture looks amazing And it's so exciting But when the water dries What's left behind Looks chalky and muddy The good part is gone Evaporated Other times You think you Made a huge mess When the paint dries You're surprised to find That there's a beautiful bleed That you never could have planned Like a flower Or running mascara Between the colors And They spell colors With a A U (laughs) So Uh, My song Watercolors With a U Teeters between a feeling of longing And darkness La Fought 
And we may have featured Lafat. Did we feature Lafat in a recent? No. I'm not sure. So let's see if we can play a little something from Lafat. If uh, they, they allow us to do that. Oh. Okay. Ah, they have a YouTube channel. Thankfully. Here we go, a little bit of this. Just ask everything I ever wanted with one cat can take it back. I'm a flower on the wall and then a fade of folly. That's called Watercolors by Lafat, and I can only play a little bit. Otherwise, I get dinged. And finally, one last song. Hi, Mike. Talking to a friend one day, she described an action someone took as both belts and braces. I'd never heard the expression before, but her explanation was relatable. The act of taking extra, probably unnecessary steps to make sure something goes as planned or to prevent a problem. This inspired my bandmate, Ron Bates, and I to write the song that you are going to listen to today. Wow, that's very presumptive of you. Our intense bass and synth heavy new single that seems to be the theme here today, Belts and Braces is about coming to the realization that too much careful planning can actually be counterproductive. Okay, this is Smaller Hearts and their song Belts and Braces. All right, belts and bra- uh, for some reason the the video for the song is just somebody trying to pull a balloon out of a tree. Wow. There you go. So those are the five songs. Choose which one you like and give me a call. Did you like the one from Zora? The one from Sam Miller and Daniel G. Harmon? Did you like song number three, which was Orion's Belt? Did you like song number four, which was La Faute, La Faute? Or did you like song number five by Smaller Hearts? You can call me at 510. That's the 510 area code because I am in the East Bay area. 228-4640. 510-228-4640. And I will announce next podcast... Who is the winner? If I don't get any votes, though, nobody calls. I won't announce nothing. I won't announce anything because there will be no votes. And that's something that I've been experiencing ever since I started this stupid segment. So maybe this was a bad idea. I have to say, as as much as she has completely saturated the music market... And everything we everything we know and we hear is related to Taylor Swift in some way. I have to say that these lyrics are pretty cool. I have this thing where I get older, but just never wiser. Midnights become afternoons. When my depression works the graveyard shift, all the other people I've ghosted stand there in the room. I should not be left to my own devices. They come with prices and vices. I end up in crisis. Tale as old as time. I wake up screaming from dreaming. One day I'll watch as you're leaving. Cause you got tired of my scheming for the last time. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. At tea time, everybody agrees. I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. Well, she's using tea time in her songs. Must be because of the dating of the British men folk. Isn't she still, is she still married or is she married? No, she was dating the guy, the the actor, wasn't she? I think. Not Orlando Bloom, that's uh, Katy Perry. She married Orlando Bloom. What is it with... Taylor Swift and Katy Perry. Didn't they have they had a rivalry which was Bad Love that was encapsulated in that song? But then they made up with 
you need to calm down. And they hugged each other dressed as hamburgers and hot dogs, I think. So Taylor also says, sometimes I feel like everybody is a sexy baby and I'm a monster on the hill. Too big to hang out, slowly lurching toward your favorite city, pierced through the heart, but never killed. That's such a bizarre lyric. (laughs) Did you hear my covert narcissism? I disguise as altruism, like some kind of congressman. Tale as old as time, I wake up screaming from dreaming. One day I'll watch as you're leaving and life will lose all its meaning for the last time. There is such dark lyrics in this song. If you've heard the song on the radio, you know, it's got kind of a catchy beat. Definitely cool chorus. But the words you go, wow, Taylor. This isn't just shake it off. This is something she ain't shaken off. It's something that a lot of us can't shake off. She says, I'm, I have this dream. My daughter-in-law kills me for the money. Ooh, this is getting mid, very Midsummer Murders. This is very cool. This is up my alley. This is uh, the, all the stuff I watch on Acorn TV, all the British murder shows, murder mystery. So she had, and I remember there was an episode that had to do with this. I think of Midsummer Murders. I have this dream. My daughter-in-law kills me for the money. She thinks I left them in the will. The father, uh, the family gathers round and reads it. And then someone screams out. She's laughing up at us from hell. Hi, it's, I'm the problem. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Everybody agrees. And then there's the tea time part and all of that yes taylor swift wow i'm a i'm a sucker for lyrics it's why i liked billy joel when i was growing up so kudos to her for that does she need all that money i don't know has she been sued way too much yes and she's gone through all kinds of crazy legal issues but it's uh it interesting song Joe Alwyn that's right and Joe is an English actor so there's your tea time maybe the reference came from that he made his feature debut in Ang Lee's 2016 war drama Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk and he was a in a supporting role in a couple movies like uh, The Favorite Boy Erased and Mary Queen of Scots Well, we've covered a lot today. Thank you for listening all the way through this podcast. Maybe write some lyrics now that you're inspired or uninspired or an anti-spired or whatever you are. But definitely tell me which one of the songs that I played you liked best. And thank you for listening. Tell all your friends that you're listening to this particular podcast. The one last thing that I was talking to Masa about that we both agreed we don't always agree but we definitely agreed on this podcasting it's a thing it's there it exists Joe Rogan makes millions and millions of dollars off of it I'm sure there are others that do but to the people out there that don't know what it is it can be a struggle to get them to start listening because it's not so easy Especially if, in your, if you're in your car and it doesn't already have a podcast app already hooked into it, there are steps you have to take. Oh, yeah. And that other thing is if you're trying to listen to a podcast on your phone, in your car, maybe you've got the Bluetooth connection and all of a sudden the podcast starts playing commercials and you want to fast forward through it. Well, if you look down to try and fast forward, you might crash your car. So don't do that. So trying to change the channel or change the podcast can lead to an accident and that ain't good. And until the podcast industry, whatever that is, I don't think that is a thing, but whoever makes the apps, those people like the tune-ins, the stitchers and all the rest, they just need to make it a lot more user-friendly and less dangerous. And until all that is done... People will be like, what's a podcast? Well, uh, it's a word that's in the name of this show. 
and they'll go, oh, what's the name of your show? And I'll say, okay, well, I'll have... <laughs> I'll uh, end the show by telling you. Well, actually, I won't tell you. A frame well. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.